Universal Studios Florida is a hub of activity. Universal Orlando Resort is a hub of construction activity. And Universal Studios Florida, which has just opened VillainCon, is about ready to op open its new land next year or revamp land. And thanks to Bio Reconstruct, we have photos and construction update for the DreamWorks land, DreamWorks, including the land's new sign. So let's get all into it right here on Theme Park Wizard. <laughs> Looking at an aerial shot of the overall site, which was the former kid zone area, let's take a look at the coast of the troller coaster is all painted and ready to go into the back over there. You have the Kung Fu Panda, the rumored Kung Fu Panda area, which is kind of reusing that play place with a whole bunch of cherry pickers in the back as well. In the foreground, you see Shrek's house, which we'll dive more in, uh, more in, in del or delve more deep into, because that has. Looks really, really good. I can't wait. And of course, Bio got a ground level shot of this, and I just can't wait to share it with all of you. But yeah, in the middle, there'll be some meet and greets, some play areas, and some uh, some nice trees. So looks looks pretty good so far. And again, it's on track for its opening next year. Let's start at the rumored Kung Fu Panda area. You can see what looks to be some steel for a potential play structure extension of that building here. And uh, there's steel actually on both sides, so it should be a nice little playground. They're gonna reuse that for that built the existing building in the back, and this will be some a meet and greet area. And um, the Mr. Ping's Noodle Shop is not expected to be here, I don't think, which just sucks because it was such a cool little meet and greet location and food location at Lunar New Year at Universal Studios Hollywood when they were doing that. Hope they bring that back, but yeah, it doesn't look like it's making an appearance here at least in the initial phase. This whole back of the area will be a plaza and probably benches and and uh tables for guests or for adults to sit out while their children are playing in the play structure. Over at the Troller Coaster, yeah, it's all painted those Nickelodeon colors, that orange and green and yellow. Looks pretty good, and a copy of this will be coming to the Universal Kids Resort. In fact, if you want to see what else is coming to the Universal Kids Resort in Texas, Frisco, Texas, check out that video. I'll link it up to the top of this video. It looks pretty interesting. Lots of rides and lots of cool lands, including uh, Shrek and Puss in Boots Land and Spongebob, so check that out, speaking of Nickelodeon. But back to the Dreamer Clan here, the Troller Coaster looking great. I mean, it's just a simple, like, roller skater coaster, and um, I'm sure we'll have some new trains, or at least the repainted trains, but it's always nice when the coaster gets a nice, coaster gets a nice repaint. I know uh, lots of coasters at SeaWorld Orlando and Six Flags Magic Mountain in the past couple years, and Knott's Berry Farm got some nice refreshes and repaints with different colors, and... They look absolutely fantastic. In fact, this looks like Tatsu's color scheme um, from Six Flags Magic Mountain, which is pretty funny. But yeah, this coaster is looks pretty great. And though, but I'm sure there'll be some trolls, anima maybe not animatronics, but like static figures and some audio, some trolls audio. And I'm sure there'll be a little mini storyline to this attraction as well. Moving over to the front of the land where the Spon E.T. and the Spongebob store are. You can see the Shrek's house being uh, for, uh, under scaffolding right now, uh, the construction wall and the guests on the other side of that. And there's even some finished pavement concrete work right over there by that tree. And over to the left, where these new walls are being erected, I assume this might be the rest area or a little meet and greet area um, for one of the DreamWorks characters. Taking a look, close look at Shrek's house from the air. Yeah, look at that. This is a whole bunch of like steel mesh and wiring. Yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. And this, of course, will be a, a meet and greet location. We can meet all the Shrek characters: Shrek, Puss in Boots, Donkey, all all this, all the good stuff. I wish this has been a perfect location, or not. Well, this land would have been a perfect location for Shrek Dark Ride, and I wish that would come. And still, plan we could come in the kids park in Texas. But yeah, I feel like Shrek deserves his own dark ride as well as SpongeBob. So I hope they both get their own dark rides um, next er, in this in this and then in the new park. But dark, SpongeBob will have his dark ride at uh, um, Circus Circus. Yeah, this will be just a really elaborate, fancy meet and greet. But it looks great. And in fact, let's take a look at it from the ground so you can really see the detail for me here. It's not; it's just about halfway done now. But yeah, you can see that mesh moving over there, that tree stump, reminds you of a little, like, reminiscent, of course, like the top tree stump in Splash Mountain that is now gone. But yeah, now it just looks exactly like Shrek's house, which looks absolutely gorgeous, and uh, 
I mean, that's, I, I, I'd want to be meeting Shrek and Donkey in there because it looks so, <laughs> yeah, and that's about it for this whole land, this land, again, it's a small area, the Kid Zone Curse, as they called it, this, this used to be Kid Zone, and it had a whole bunch of redevelopment proposals, even walls up at the time, then they got taken down, so the Kid, kid Zone Curse is over, and I, I'm so glad this area is being refreshed because, again, those old, I, those old, other IPs in uh, the Kid Zone era were kind of old. I didn't even know who those characters were. So these will be characters a lot of younger... I mean, I know them, so the younger generations will sure know them. Trolls, Shrek, especially the rumored Shrek 5 maybe come out in 2025. That will be pretty awesome. We'll really tie into the area. Kung Fu Panda 4 is coming out next year, and this area will um, kind of be a promotion for that because there will be a whole Kung Fu Panda area. So I'm glad this area is getting some new, like, new lease on life. And maybe there'll be an expansion. You know, there's some decent, a uh, decent plot of land behind there. Maybe a kind of a sequel life for pets style dark ride. And again, maybe Shrek will get his dark ride. Maybe another DreamWorks character will. Maybe the bad guys. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. Um, also, if you want some tickets to Universal Orlando, hey, I got a discount promotional for you right now. You can go click the link down below. But here's a whole little snippet video about it describing how this promotion works. Otherwise, guys, have a great day and stay proud. <laughs> Do you guys want discount tickets to theme parks, Disney, Universal, Legoland, SeaWorld, all of them? Well, guess what? I can get you that. Thanks to the folks that get away today. We have a referral code down below in the link. You can click and get discounts and for all your vacation packages. Also, you can get tickets or discount tickets for single day tickets as well. You just click on the code. Click whatever theme park you want to go to in California or Florida, and then type uh, use the code TPW. That is capital T P N W. That's it. Disney Universal, all of them. And they, if you add multiple days, the bigger the discount. Again, use that referral link down below. Uh, you'll get lots of discounts, including single day vacation packages, even on hotels. And use that code TPW. And thank you to the folks that get away today for helping us out here and helping you. Get some more discounts. All right, let's get right back to the video.